There's a misconception about e-collars, and that's that you're supposed to cause pain with these, and that's how the dog learns. That's not how it's used. And if you dial this up to the highest setting, it, it will. It'll jump your muscle, but we don't use them like that. A human being cannot even feel it until about 15 or 20 percent, and that's where we use it is like 20 percent and lower. That's how it's used. So when I go to an, uh, an owner's, and the dog's coming to a board and train, I put this in their hand, I start dialing it up and say, you tell me when you feel it, and it's about 15 or 20% for everyone. That's how it is, that, that's where a human feels it. Now the dog is more sensitive, and it kinda like can feel it in the background, like, you know, it's like an annoyance, like if you grab, if somebody grabs your arm, you can feel it, it's like that. And remember, your dog is different than you, it has different, pain stimuli, meaning it can go in freezing cold, my dog goes in freezing cold water that would kill me. Do you understand? So it's an annoyance, that's how you use it, and you turn it on and teach the dog to like sit quicker, meaning you turn it on, you say sit, and then when the dog hits its ass on the ground, it is turned off. But you aren't creating pain with it, you use it at a very low level, and you condition the dog with this, that's how it's done. That's the problem. These are effective. They're effective, they're great tools, and they're just like a leash. A leash can be used improperly and cause problems. A slip chain can be used improperly. Food can be used improperly. All of the tools that people use to train dogs can be used properly or improperly. These are awesome. Are you kidding me? I've been using these for over 20 years. I highly recommend them, but I don't recommend them that you go out and get an e-collar and start zapping your dog. you got to know what you're doing. Contact a professional. But th this is totally humane, but you have to do it the right way. You have to lay this in real low and teach the dog to turn off the collar. And I'm serious, you cannot feel it 15 to 20% and lower. You can't even feel it. The dog just senses it. It's like an annoyance, and it's floating in the background. Do you understand? These do not cause pain unless you use them improperly. I honestly, I'm not really sure why all e-collars go up so high. It doesn't make any sense. So, you know, some I had somebody on Facebook just saying, well, that's the problem. It's like, you know, yeah, they're okay if you use them properly, but people will use them improperly. Yeah. So, so does that mean that we're not supposed to use these? Because I know how to use it. A, a person will use a leash improperly too. Does that mean that they're not supposed to use a leash? Or we're not supposed to have them on the market? You know, it's ridiculous. You know, every training tool that we have, including food, can be used improperly. Do you understand? These are awesome. These are awesome. This is an awesome tool, but you have to know how to do it. Contact a professional.